69, 70. Stop looking at my ass. I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. Doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you. You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start. I got this locked in. Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. That's cold. Don't be a baby. Mommy's not here. I'm your mama now. Watch the damn road! I'm a hundred percent not with you. How did I forget the arrow helmet? Can't bonk. Can't bonk! Gotta get my cadence up! You're making no sense right now. Some kind of change, lady. I'm trying. Hey, have you seen a job? Yeah, it went down the beach, I think. Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning. All right, I gotta keep going. Moron! I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser. Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out. Who the hell? Fuck it, you're mine.
Hey, I'm good for the money. I always pay my dues. I was hoping we could continue the conversation. Oh, sure, of course, I understand. Life is crazy busy, believe no, me. Just I know. Stay chilled, all right? Already, fam. What if the investors <laughs> Welcome. We hope you'll have an extra exciting shopping experience. That's a particularly good price. Got a great deal there. Your wish is my command. What's up? Whatever it is you're looking for. You looking for anything special? All good.
is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But pa Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Miss you already. Ah! What the effort are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're 
You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa, hey. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob. You people are not very Fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accident. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like... But it don't taste like, Kira. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was... Trevor! That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
Yo, what's up? I wish a motherfucker would run up on me for wearing a hoodie. If it's possible, I might be coming immune to boobies. <laughs> it's me, man. I'm cool I with feel. all the G. Hell yeah. What do you think about for me? You think I can get it in? City of Saints and struggle. Los Scandals, San Antonio. I don't care about the motherfucking kids, man. I love Wanna kids. dance in the back? I rock I any color I want. Ooh, that's all. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. Hell yeah. What's good? Fucking pigs hang around my crib every day and shit. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route. 
out for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Just went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. Quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. 
They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. A little long. 
Commander. It looks good. We're lucky these projects take so long. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor get it done. Really? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Anchor back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. 
It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Let me, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Ah, great. <laughs> 